Okay, so we're outside. We're going to have a bit of a fun shoot off. What we got is uh, the latest uh, FX Impact. We got the amazing Daystate Red Wolf. We also have the FX Crown. And we have the Daystate Wolverine R. Yeah, these are, as of 2018, probably the top four rifles that money can buy. Alright guys, it's uh, Steve here and uh, welcome to another video from Ergonology. On this channel as usual we do a whole load of air rifle reviews, pistols and technology reviews. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Check out the links in the video description, you'll find our Facebook group. I'm joined by Eric, who's uh, one of the admins on the Facebook group as well. So join on that group. Um, we have some great, great chats on there. and. Um, well, let's just crack on. So, as you saw in the intro, we've got quite a few rifles here. Um, and this is a bit of fun. I'm going to say this straight away, straight off the bat. You know, this is not a full, proper shootout test. We're not going into all the bits and pieces we thought. Eric's got two beautiful rifles. I've got two at the moment on review. So we thought what we'll do is we'll show you the rifles, just have a little bit of fun, talk about them, and just give us some quick thoughts and views. We've done, I'm gonna do a bit of shooting as well, so if you wanna check the shooting out, you'll see that in the middle of the video. But really, it's just talking about these, these rifles themselves. So what we've actually got is we've got four rifles, top of the class range rifles here from the two major companies out there, FX and Daystate. We've got the FX Crown, well, we've got that one in 2.2. We've got the Daystate Wolverine R, um, we've got that in 177. We've got the FX Impact, the latest one, which is the uh, the Silver X with the smooth twist X barrel. We've got that in 177. And we've got the Daystate Electronic Red Wolf as well. And we've got that in 177. So um, Eric and I have got our vapes here. We've got our cups of coffee. It's uh, December, it's nearly Christmas. So happy Christmas to everyone. And um, what we'll do is we'll just have a quick look at the rifles themselves that we've got on here. So you're gonna need to put your coffee down there, Eric. We'll have a quick vape. Right. Do you want to throw me over the uh, the crown, please? So let's just pick the crown up and pass that over to me. Okay, there you go. so what we've got is the crown. Now, all of these rifles are totally, totally unloaded. So Eric, the crown itself, tell me, this one's your rifle, um, and how much did this cost you? That cost me 19, 19 50. Just, just, just shy of two grand. Two grand. Yeah, just shy, shy of two grand. So this is basically FX's top of the range rifle. Now I have got a review of this coming up in the new year. Um, I borrowed this off Eric, but basically we've got this one in one uh, in two two. Obviously, you can get in one seven seven as well. Magazine fed. Um, I think it's a twenty one shot in 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 one seven seven. Eighteen shot. I think in two two. The big that magazines right, yeah. go in there. These rifles are totally unloaded, so don't worry. Side cock in action. Really beautiful FX trigger on it. Um, the shroud itself can be extended to make it quieter um, on there. All of these rifles have also got the 480cc carbon bottle. So all of these rifles in 17722 are giving you 400 plus shots. But um, beautiful rifle. And this one is in the pepper black, is it? Pepper black, yeah. Yeah, absolutely in the pepper black. Um, and we got uh, what scope have you got on there? That's the... Uh Discovery 5 to 25 P50 first so focal. That's a first focal. Eric loves his first focals. Again, a lot of these Discovery scopes out here, but absolutely beautiful rifle. And of course, with the FX uh, crown, you get all of the power dials on here, so you can change the hammer tension and the valves on here. Uh, so you can adjust this really great rifle uh, for those into FAC. Adjustable cheat stocks, the whole lot on there. Absolutely beautiful rifle. So let's put that one back, shall we, really carefully, and uh, we'll grab the next one. The Wolverine R. The Wolverine R. So this one's Eric's little baby. This he is my loves baby. This I one. love this one. Oh, he loves this, but this rifle. And again, how much was this one, Eric? Uh, that was about 14 and a half. 14 and a half, so UK pounds, 14, uh, 1400 pounds. Um, again, absolutely beautiful. This is in a 177. This actually does feel a little bit heavier, but then it has got more mounted on it. We've got a bipod onto this one here. We've got the laser range finder, uh, that's the Mark V. So check out the video, I've got some links on that one. And um, what scope have you got on here? That's the Kaunas 6 to 24 B52. And is that first? A first? That's the first focal. And again, first again, focal. Then. You love your first focals, don't you? Yeah. But this is a the uh, day they state sort of like top of the range mechanical rifle um, and again all totally safe and empty side cocking lever on here really nice cocking lever on there 
beautiful trigger, two-stage trigger. Eric's got this set up absolutely beautifully. Um, what um, silence have you got on the end of there, mate? That's a sack mod. Sack mod on there. Super, super quiet. Love that. The looks, again, is this a black pepper? That's a black pepper again. Absolutely yeah. black pepper. Beautiful stock on there with the big thumb hole on there. Uh, Day State's um, standard safety catch on the back on here. Again, magazine fed. It's 10 shot, is ten, it? 10 shot. Yeah. 10 shot, 177. Again, 480cc bottle on here. So you're getting 400 plus shots. Obviously, this is fully regulated, the same as the uh, Crown. Uh, with the Crown as well, you can see there's double, uh, you've got the regulator and the fill pressure gauge on there as well. But absolutely stunning, stunning little rifle this one is. Um, and certainly is the cheapest amongst the uh, three, uh, four rifles that we've Both got are, here. Yeah. yeah, so really, really nice, nice rifle on there. So we'll just pop that one back, please, right. Eric. Yeah. So there you go. those are the two rifles that Eric's brought down. So um, really nice, thanks for that, Eric. You're welcome. So, well, what we got next, then we've got next is uh, we've got the FX Impact. Now, again, everybody loves these rifles and uh, this is by far the lightest rifle. It's just, obviously it's a skeleton. If you don't know what the FX Impact is, then where have you been for the last couple of years? But we've got the very latest FX Impact here. This is the Silver X. So it's a smooth twist X barrel system on it. Now this one's actually been fitted with um, air, effect, air effective uh, shroud, carbon shroud modifier that's been uh, matte finished. And it is super, super quiet, whisper quiet. Again, totally unloaded this rifle, but just listen to this. You can't even hear. All I can hear is the is the hammer going forward. I can even hear the air coming into I've the regulator. I've just felt the puff of wind come out. That's all I can hear. <laughs> yeah, it is literally is so quiet, so quiet. And this one, oh, I've just thrown a bipod on it at the moment. Again, 480 cc bottle on the bottom. So again, you're looking 400, 500 shots with it. Um, beautiful again with the side mechanism. Uh, magazine at the back. Uh, 21 shot, 18 shot for 2-2. Um, really simple safety catch here. The trigger on it, the FX trigger on it, just fantastic again, and just fire that off. Absolutely beautiful. And again, with this one, you do have power adjustments. So you have uh, the hammer spring tension on the side. You have the valve at the front here where you can change it. Um, really nice, loaded, loaded, loaded with Picatinny rails. If you're into your military style looking rifles, then yeah, that's what you've got on there. Absolutely brilliant. We'll just move that rifle out of the way. So absolutely gorgeous rifle, uh, the Impact X. Um, so yep, nice, nice rifle. And then finally, we've got probably the most expensive one here. Steve's um, baby this. Yeah, this is the one that I'm, you know, I, I do like this rifle. I've got this one on loan at the moment and I love it so much. I'm actually going to be, I'm actually getting my mine in January. I've got mine on order. but. This is the Daystate Red Wolf, um, it's in the red lemon stock, not to be confused with the limited edition series Rosso, but this is the commercially available um, Daystate Red Wolf in the red laminate, you can get it in the walnut as well, and this is Daystate's uh, top of the range electronic rifle, so it's all electronic in there. Uh, the battery goes in the bottom here, lasts thousands of shots. Um, the cocking mechanism, again, this one's totally safe. It's just sublime. You know, it's just one finger pull. All you're doing is just indexing the magazine. Um, and we'll just fire that off. Um, I've got that fitted with a hug it silencer on there. Um, this has a full carbon, proper carbon shroud on the barrel. Um, again, a 480cc shot counts you're in. The 400s, again, 500 shot counts with these. 10 shot magazine, absolutely sublime. Um, and the guy that's been winning quite a lot of championships recently on that. Some of you might not like it because electronics, some of you do. Um, I, I don't mind it, I think it's okay. It gets a bit of getting used to. Uh, I've got a Mamba Pro, MTC Mamba Pro on here. And I forgot to show you that the FX Impact has got a Discovery First Focal on it as well. So uh, this is the only one that hasn't got the first focal on it at the moment. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning, stunning rifle. So price-wise on the uh, on the Red Wolf is we're looking like I said close to 2000 1950 I think the prices are current of December 18. The impact you're looking at 1700. The Day State Red Wolf, uh, Day State um, Wolverine R about 14. About 14, and then we've got the Crown about uh, nearly 2000. Nearly 2000. So realistically, if we look at it, we've got the top of the range Day State here, uh, which is Red Wolf really sort of competes with the uh, the crown and then you've got the day state wolverine uh, sort of at the lower price and then the impact really is i'd say it's in a class of its own let's be honest it's a uh, totally different to everything else isn't it skeleton ball pop so what do you think eric um shall we have a bit of a shoot yeah be, be interesting see who's uh 
which can, can come out better. Mind you, I think they should all fire about the same, but... Uh... Yeah, we're, we're certainly expecting that these rifles, you yeah, know, the top of the off top of the game, we, we are expecting them. We can only really reach out here to about 30 metres, so we pushed yeah. it as far as we can. I think it's going to come down to really how good the shooter is. Yeah. Um, and we're going to make it totally fair as well, is we're mm. going to use unsorted pellets. We're just going to make sure nothing's damaged. We're going to do 10 shots, 30 metres, um, and we're going to do it magazine fed as well um, to make it fair. Um, obviously, you know, if, you, if you're going to do proper accuracy testing, then I really would say you should be doing single shot tray. But we wanted to keep it fair. And like I said, it's a bit of fun. Eric and I are not the best shooters in the world. No, and I'm not the best single shot loader in the world. <laughs> you should see him trying to single shot load. <laughs> it is hilarious. It it's, takes him 10 minutes. Glasses on, glasses off. So we're going to do it in magazines. We'll see how we get on. And uh, we'll come back and we'll do a bit of review. But you know the score. Let's cue the music and see what happens. <laughs> and we're back and we're back so hopefully you enjoyed that was a, a bit of fun shooting there and I like I said with the shooting um, what we did there is we just took pellets just made sure unsorted make sure they weren't damaged we did it with magazines we've done it over 30 meters we've done it rested we've tried to keep it as simple as possible and we certainly did not take our time with it um, I think the results are and we'll leave the pictures around but at the end of the day um, I think we I think you'll agree Eric that they are all stupidly accurate yeah. the differences we're getting down to here is basically eric and i basically did most of the shooting in one take we weren't single shot training we were magazine fed we literally had a couple of shoots of the rifles each and then we just went for it it comes down to scopes on the rifles and other factors in there including the wobbles that we get all the time you yeah. know because we're, we're high on nicotine <laughs> so um yeah uh yeah i think the results of it are all pretty much yeah uh, again we'll leave the cards around so you can see them as we're talking on there but uh, let's go through each of the rifles in turn shall we eric uh, what i'm going to ask you first off is um in fact let's go with the crown what do you think of the crown well, I, I, I quite like the Crown. I mean, it's not to be honest, it's not my favourite, but uh, but it's, it is a good rifle. It's nice and light. It's it, it's a, it's accurate, and in the right hands, it could be could even be better. But uh, 
it's just uh, it's one of them, it's it's good if you can afford it it's worth worth the punt because it's it's an, it's just a lovely rifle. It, it is, it is, it is a really nice rifle. I think one of the big things with the Crown is, again, it's got the FX trigger on it, which is sublime. It's probably one of the best triggers out there. Um, what I do like about the Crown is that for those guys that are FAC and you can swap your barrels out on it, you've got the full adjustability on mm. there. I think my personal opinion for the price that you're paying for the crown there's too much in there for the guys on the sub 12 foot pound it's accurate yes uh, this one was 2-2 so obviously you're getting a bit more pellet drop on there but you're getting a lot more punch down at the bottom of the range um, it is a beautiful rifle there's no doubt about it I, I do actually what do you think of the pepper black you, you are a fan I, of the pepper I, I, black I love you? it I love it it's, I think, uh, yeah you can tell with all your rifles that the pepper black um, re really really nice rifle on there I, I think basically um, for me out of the four if i had to rank them i would put the crown at the bottom um purely down to the fact that i think it's over engineered for two two uh, sub 12 foot pound shooters there's too much going on on it and you don't need all of that uh but it is a cracking cracking rifle absolutely beautiful big box as well on that but uh yeah, yeah. it's a nice it's a nice rifle so okay eric um let's move on to the wolverine what do you yeah. think of the wolverine oh it's my it's my baby it's uh <laughs> Oh, it's just beautiful. It's it... so what makes it so good, Eric? Oh, I don't know. It's it's. But well, if I was to compare it to the Crown, the fact that it's five hundred pound cheaper is a bonus in itself. But it just it just. Oh, I can't explain. It's it's one of those guns you've got to pick up and and feel and shoot. I've heard that a lot. Whenever you ask people about rifles, which is the best, it's difficult, and it comes down to a lot of feeling. I do like the Wolverine. Um, to be honest, I'm going to be brutally honest here, I'd probably put myself personally, I'll put Wolverine in third place. Um, it needs to be up there near the top, purely on the price side of things, but the looks of it is fantastic. Uh, it's simple, it's got the regulator in it, that's it, it's set up 12 foot pound, obviously you can get it in different poundage as well, but it's set up 12 foot pound, there's nothing fancy about it literally there's no knobs or dials to play around with you cock the rifle you zero it you aim it shoots it is pinpoint accurate um really really nice rifle it's a slightly heavier as well than the crown isn't it uh, and it's a lot quieter than the crown as well yeah it can be i suppose you, yeah. with the nice thing i do like about the wolverine is that you can actually put an aftermarket silencer or moderator or whatever you want to call it on the end of it whereas with the crown it's a bit more complicated because you've got to mess around with the shroud on it um so yeah it's, it's again it, it really comes down to the price it is just a fantastically stupidly accurate rifle um and like i said all of these are really really good uh, rifles but um, it is a looker as well so then we come on to the impact come on eric the impact this is the this is the elephant in the room as they say in it it is definitely it's uh <laughs> it's what's the word it's that marmite yeah. it's 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 you've one got, of those rifles you either like got, it you've got to, you it, gotta like it it, yeah. it looks unusual it's uh but now i've picked it up I'm impressed. It's it's light. It's 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 easy to handle. Yeah. It, it, one thing I do like about the impact is because it is so light. Um, it's that classic bullpup. It is the only bullpup that we've got here, um, and it's the skeleton format in it all. And uh, it is again, as we said, it's stupidly accurate. Um, with the modified system that we've got on here with Air, from Air Effective on there, it is, it is the quietest that we've got here. Um, but obviously you can make all of these a lot quieter, but the, it, again, it's got the trigger on it, it's got the loading system, the high shot count magazines on it. It is a beautiful, beautiful rifle to shoot. I, I, I find maybe it's just a little bit too thin. Um, it's too easy to cant, I find, because of it's such a slim line, cut down skeleton type rifle but i love the fact with the with the fx impact that uh, you can add so many modifications to it. it's got the picatinny rails all over it if you're into your military looking type rifles it's yeah. it's one of those it is definitely a different type of rifle to look at but uh you, you like it don't you eric i do yes uh, it's you've had one before as well I, haven't i've you? actually had one before but uh that was in the early days i think it was what the mark one or the mark zero but basically it was it wasn't very good put it 
to be polite. <laughs> so. But this one, I think, yeah. has certainly changed your mind that we yeah. got we got hold of this one and had to play with it. Yeah, you know, um, I do like it personally. If it was down to me, I would actually put the FX Impact in second place. And those guys that have watched the videos before with me and seen on the Facebook group, you know that for me it was a toss-up between which one to spend my hard-earned money on, be it the Red Wolf or the FX Impact and it has been a very difficult choice but I've gone you know I'd have both if I could but you know, I've gone for the Red Wolf but I would put definitely the FX Impact in a very close second place I love how compact it is how light it is um, its accuracy the smooth twist X barrel system is fantastic you can do anything you want to you can put different grips on it you can pick it in it to have depth if you want to um, you can put modifiers on it anything that you want on it it's really really nice rifle match it up the right scope in the right hands yeah definitely yeah. a good rifle but again yeah we're now sort of pushing up near compare that to the red wolf uh, so sorry to the wolverine wolverine looking at 13 1400 mm. and we're up to 1700 we're up to another yeah. 300 pound there yeah um, i mean that that's big that that's more of an hunting gun that, that you could carry that about all day with yeah. You'd need to go to the gym to carry this about. <laughs> I tell you, it's unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely one of the heaviest guns out the four. Yeah, it de definitely is sort of like, um, mm. I've started doing a lot of ratting recently, and I can see, uh, I can definitely see why everybody loves these FX impacts. Um, yeah, they, they, they've had a few problems right in the beginning, but uh, they've all been solved. Get the latest ones, the Black X or the Silver Xs with the smooth twist barrels perfect perfect for out hunting um and ratting um, i can just see that you can put in your night sights you can put your torches you don't have to modify you've got picatinny rails all over it i i do like it i do like it a lot and then we come on to the one that uh, everybody sort of like yeah. um and ahs about and that is the uh, the day state red wolf um yeah. come on eric go to your honest opinions about the day state red the wolf. honest opinions it's it's a cracking rifle the can I say the elephant in the room for me is if that was in black pepper, I'd have got one yesterday. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know, I know. It's, I know. it's, it's, it's the red, not, is it? It's not everybody's. Well, it's not my cup of tea, but uh, but but stock or not, it handles lovely. It, it is. It's a nice rifle. It, it is. It, it is a very nice rifle. Um, it's. What I, w I would say basically, for me, and obviously it's obvious that um, I would put the Red Wolf at the top of this, and again this is just my personal opinion, I'm going to ask Eric in a minute to rank them as well, which ones mm. he, would, uh, he would go, I would definitely put the Red Wolf at the top, um, but as Eric says before, the elephant in the room is, number one is the colour on it, but you can get them in walnut, and I strongly, strongly suspect they're going to change some colours on these soon, so keep watching. Yeah, I can't say any more than that. Um, but I think the big elephant in the room with this is the fact that it's the electronics on there. Um, a lot of people don't like it and they don't trust it. Um, I, I like it because of... Um, I like the fact that the trigger is electronic and when, as soon as you shoot it, that pellet has left that barrel. Um, with the mechanical rifles, you know, any wobbles you get, it, it does turn bad shooters like me. Eric beat me. <laughs> it does shoot bad shooters like me into good shooters with that. Um, I don't mind the electronics. I like the fact that the electronics there. A lot of people don't like that. And that's just something you're either going to get used to or you don't. Um, but yeah, I do I do like it. Um, it's accurate. Of course, all of these rifles are super are super accurate. You know, they, they've outshot us, haven't they, Eric? Yeah, I mean, that, that gun is it's a good gun, like I say, but it takes a bit of getting used to. It's not one of those guns you can pick up and expect to be... American sniper <laughs> in two minutes. Yeah, it, it does take a bit. It, it takes a bit. I mean, I, I found the trigger to be lighter, definitely the lightest out of the four. Yeah. And um, the cocking was. Yeah. The, the, the trigger, the trigger I've set, the trigger I've set on this is extremely light because it's electronic, so I've got it really light, which is probably not to your liking. And the cocking handle on it is just super. It, yeah, literally. It, yeah, the first time you picked it, I'm saying, "Whoa, careful!" You nearly ripped the thing off. Yeah, <laughs> yanked it off. Yeah, yeah um, uh, and it's on the same sort of par weight, I'd say, to the Wolverine as well, isn't it? I'd say it's a, a, a tad lighter. Yeah. But then again, that could be because because the scope and the yeah, range the attachments we got, we got, we got on it. So it's sort of like really summing up a little bit, it's sort of like the Crown, super accurate, really nice rifle, high price, um, light as well, but you know, I think personally a little bit overkill in the all of the dials and the knobs and switches yeah. you got on there, you know, in sub 12 foot pound, potentially wasted on you for the money. The Wolverine, cheap, accurate, yeah. yeah. 
R reminds me of the same, less is more. Yeah, sometimes on that, the Wolverine are definitely, and obviously all of these are regulated, and the Wolverine are being regulated. The FX Impact is totally different rifle, it's a bullpup, stupidly accurate. Price-wise, it's sort of like in the middle, 1700 quid, fully customizable, nice and light, good. I'd say it's a perfect hunting rifle. Um, that there. And then the Daystate, you know, I like the Daystate because of, uh, I just like the looks of it to me, the garish red, I think it looks nice. Uh, the technology in it, I love the technology, hence air gunology. Um, and I also want to start doing some HFT, and at the end of the day, boys are winning a lot of stuff with the red walls, it's sort of like wiping the board of it. So why not go for one of those on that? All right, so Eric, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna really ask you, you know, I really want you to put your nuts on the table here and tell me which one would you put out of the four, and this is just a bit of fun, don't take this too seriously, guys. Which one would you put at the bottom here? Well, with reluctance, the crown. The crown, okay. Um, and that's just down to personal choice, would that be? That's that's only at these four rifles. That's because I've handled the impact and I love it. I think it's a great okay. gun. So the next one, so, the next one, which one would you put in third place? In third place would be the impact again. You put the impact? Impact, yeah. You're actually quite impressed with the impact, aren't I you? I like the impact, but um, yeah. not as much as this. Not as much as my baby. Not so, as so in third place will be in second place would be. You know, we got two left. Which one would be? I want you to be honest, truth here. Right. You know. In my in my opinion, I'd I'd put the Wolverine R first. Yep. Because it's not as complicated as the Red Wolf. I think the Red Wolf's a good rifle. Yep. And I mean, there's a lot of people that disagree with me and put it their way round. Mm -hmm. But. For simplicity, I mean, that's just a matter of loading, cocking, aiming, firing. That, yep. that is... I think that's quite a reasonable assumption yeah. there, is that, yeah, the, the Wolverine R is, price-wise, straight away, it's a lot, lot cheaper. Um, it's accurate, it's not complicated. You take it out of the box, you zero it up, there's nothing to mess around with it. You just check the dials, make sure the dials are good, and you shoot it, and it hits things very, very and well. The, and the price difference between the Wolverine and the Red Wolf yeah. is, like, say, £500. You can actually get yourself a good scope. Absolutely. Uh, you can get Absolutely. a good setup for the same money. Absolutely. So basically, yeah. your sort of order there, then, Eric, would be the Crown, the FX, which you want to buy an FX. Um, I know you want the to get one. The Impact, yeah. <laughs> the Impact, the Impact, yeah. yeah. Then followed closely by the Red Wolf, and then on top, you'd put the Wolverine. Would you Pure... care to swap? <laughs> so for me, for me, and again, I'm sorry to say this, um, but I would put the, the Crown at the bottom, uh, yeah. purely because of how complicated it is uh, with the yeah. dials. And I think, to be honest, it's overkill. Um, once you set it up, you set it up. You're not going to mess around with it too mm. much. I do like the fact that you can change the barrels on it, it, but uh, yeah, again, how many times would you do that? It's a nice USB with that. Um, I'm actually going to put the Wolverine at the in third place, to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm going to put it in third place because of uh, it has got a lot going for it the price, the accuracy, etc. Um, it is an extremely nice rifle. Um, uh, yeah, I, I can't really fault it. This is purely going on personal taste. Um, those guys that know me will know that I have had a toss up between the FX. Impact and the Red Wolf and it is a very very close call and I do wish I could get both of them um, I'm actually thinking about getting hold, getting rid of my cricket to get hold of an FX impact uh, as well because I do want both but I would actually put the impact second place um, and it's purely because of the looks of it um, I do want something for ratting so I'm starting to get back into night shooting and it would be an absolute perfect rifle for that it's got all the accessibilities with the with the Picatinny rails that you can put all your bits and pieces high shot count nice and light to be walking around the farm with bullpup style i do like that i have done some ratting with the with the red wolf it is a fairly heavy longish rifle um, and that's where the fx does sort of creep in and win it for me but for me number one oh this is the red wolf and it's why i'm going to end up buying one anyway i've got my order in um i just like the garish looks on it um i know you don't yeah. <laughs> and I, I i strongly suspect day state are bringing out different colors for this as well um and i just love the electronics in there to me i i ergonology sort of says it all I love technology I love the electronics I love the the, the how accurate it is as well and like I said all of these rifles are absolutely stunning stunningly good rifles um, these are probably we've got five and a half grand's worth of rifles sat here these are arguably some of the best rifles that you can buy at the moment in 2018
So um, yeah, that's just a little nearly, bit of a plane. Nearly seven grand, Steve. To be honest. <laughs> well, if you and add on all the scopes, and, and that's it. without scope. <laughs> if you add, well, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah you're probably six, six, seven grand. Yeah. yeah. So um, hopefully you uh, like this. Uh, it's just a little bit of a fun, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, you're for a handshake, mate. You're Thank you very mate. much you're for coming welcome. up and uh, rowing yeah, in these two rifles mate, up here. You know. Yeah, it's been it's been a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, it's been a bit of fun shooting. Like I said, guys, don't take this too seriously. This is just me and Eric just taking a look at these rifles. We happen to have them all here at the same time, um, and we just wanted to have a quick play, have a shoot with them. Um, at the end of the day, each of these rifles is fantastically accurate. They outshoot us by miles, absolute miles. It really does come down to personal taste, personal preference, and how much money you actually want to spend on them. And I suppose at times where you're allegiances are as well on there so um, hopefully you like this video as i said there's loads more videos um, don't forget to check out the links consider being a patreon check it down below in the video description we got the amazon store on there where all the stuff that i've reviewed you can click them and it helps the channel out on there um, subscribe if you haven't as well give us a thumbs up with thumbs down uh, leave some comments really interested to know what you thought your thoughts are and please let's not have this a day state versus an air arms versus an fx war it's not that just nice and civil what do you think is the best one out of here which ones do you like and why to see, yeah. yeah anyway yeah. eric been a yeah. pleasure and you thank you very much mate yeah. and uh, yeah. i think we're going to go and have a bit more of a shoot and uh, have another cup of tea because it's getting a bit cold yeah and also by the way if he has beat me i'm <laughs> deleting him off the group <laughs> <laughs> cheers eric <laughs> <All right. laughs>